With a big round of applause, please help me welcome the Lord Mayor of Accra, Honorable Ajay Soa. Good evening to all of you. I stand on already established protocols and bring you warm felicitations from the Accra Metropolitan Assembly. Indeed, I am delighted to be part of this historic occasion. Growing up from the city of Accra, we celebrate Christmas in different ways and forms. It appeared that the celebration of Christmas then was confined to our homes. It is supposed to be an outdoor event. Indeed, when I became the mayor of Accra, there were a lot of people who approached me and said that you are a young man. So you have to bring some energy and excitement to the city of Accra. I accepted the challenge to bring some energy and vibrancy to the city. And I asked myself, what new can I do? Because there has been a lot of things which has been done at quite monotonous. I knew that the ideas can be fetched from the private sector. I started approaching the private sector have spoken to quite a number of people who have given me all manner of ideas. And I have been ably supported by two women throughout my journey. They are very strong women who have excelled in their private life, the industry, and are tapped into their brains. And those two women are the brain behind today's event. Mrs. Nokodua of Molinlo and Auntie Afi Amoru of Jandel. We said that Accra is a very vibrant city. What do we do to enlighten the vibrancy and the passion of the people? That gave birth to the idea of making Accra beautiful. It may be vague, but pregnant with a lot of ideas and it keep coming. We started off by wanting to green the whole of Accra open spaces. Indeed, we had had support from the private sector and EcoBank is one of them. It's a long journey and we'll be challenged whether it will be feasible because any idea that we had, there are naysayers who tells us that this is Accra and this is Ghana. Forget it. But the more they say forget it, the more we are challenged that we can do it. Again, we also decided to beautify the walls of Accra. And that also gave birth to the idea of the beautiful paintings and murals that you see around all the spaces in Accra. There are many ideas that we have succeeded in planting in Accra. We are eager to sustain it and change the way our city looks like. Because we wanted to rebrand the city management idea. Because when I became the chief executive, I'm sure out of every three people that you met and you call AMA, what drops into your mind, either Abaye or Stop work, produce permit. 
This is an idea that we want to change from the minds of people that we are offering service to elevate the life and the status of our city. Today, as we mark the second year running of Light Up Accra, indeed, when Echo Bank decided to support and for us to go beyond Accra, I call on my colleagues from Takuradi, Kumasi, and told them that it appears that Jesus was born somewhere, but he became the representative of the Holy Spirit everywhere in the world. We have given birth to an idea that is fast growing and it appears to be catching up everywhere. We want you to accept the challenge and light up wherever you are. We were baffled by the pandemic. That is it possible for us to celebrate Christmas this year? And when we launched it, we chose a theme in spite of COVID, we shall rise. Indeed. We never thought that despite the pandemic, as we saw the numbers always on our CNN and we get scared, God has been good to us in Ghana and Africa that our numbers are extremely low there is every reason for us to celebrate and say thank you to the lord in spite of covid we have risen thank you good evening honorable metropolitan chief executive for the ema the ceo of jandel limited the ceo of marlin low representatives of supporting financial institutions, media personnel present, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed with much pleasure that we have all rallied here this evening to once again light up the city, to usher the city of Accra very well into the festive mood of Christmas and a new year with a greater hope of better things to come. Ladies and gentlemen, you would recall that this Light Up the City program was initiated in 2019 through the collaborative efforts of the Accra Metro Assembly and Kauli Klote Municipal Assembly as local government agencies and the private sector. That's some financial institution and event management establishment. We are all witnesses, we all witnessed the level of appreciation people expressed about the beautification and the innovational touches that was brought to bear last year. Ladies and gentlemen, in line of the policy to make Accra, to make the city of Accra clean, activities such as beautification and modifications are equally very crucial. It is against this backdrop that we as assemblies have partnered with the private sector to have annual programs or projects such as the light up the city on this note you are all once again welcome to the lunch and may the good lord bless us all thank you very much god bless good evening ladies and gentlemen I'd like to read the speech. It comes from my heart to you after a very hard, 
hard year. We are in Christmas and we think and know that God is with us. So, Christmas is not a time nor a season, but a state of mind. To cherish peace and goodwill is to have this real spirit of Christmas. This is by Calvin Coolidge. Good evening, invited guests and valued partners, all protocols observed. I am Afi Amoro, and I am the CEO of Chandel Limited. Jandel is an innovative event and floral company dedicated to making a difference in the lives of people. Over a year ago, we embarked on a journey to uplift the face of Ghana in the spirit of Christmas with the wonder of lights and show of creativity by local artisans on an innovative platform. That is, light up the city. This initiative emerges sorry this initi initiative emerges merges religious I'm sorry I'm a bit nervous and tired I've been trotting the, the country in fact I'm shaking <laughs> This is not so unprofessional. If I was on the other side, I'll be knocking the person. Why is this? <laughs> but now it's my turn and I'll look at what is happening. This initiative merges religion, socioeconomic impact, as well as a nod to our heritage and culture. We are a people that have overcome so much in the past, and yet still we continue to exhibit the spirit of hope, perseverance, peace, and unity. As the great Desmond Tutu once said, hope is being able to see that there is light despite all of the darkness. Christ is the light of the world. And in a year where some have felt complete darkness, we want to exhibit the message that light that lights portray. Light means hope, faith, new life, and joy. Light up the city, revives fond memories, joyful reminiscing, and sparks the flame of ex excitement in all Ghanaians, both young and old. This year, we are taking this experience one step further by introducing Bronya in GH. That is a Christmas village to give people an exciting ambience to rely, relax with family and friends and enjoy the scenery. We know that this initiative will again yield a positive socio-economic impact by improving local and international tourism and as well create job opportunities for local artisans who have evolved their craftsmanship into art. To that effect, this year we have also ensured the incorporation of Ghanaian and Ga symbols and snippets of our culture and heritage across the country in the decor experience. As you all observe today, our artisans have risen to the challenge. Can we give them a, a, round, a resounding round? They have worked day and night. It has not been easy. As you will observe today, our artisans have risen to the challenge and have produced simply breathtaking craftsmanship to usher us into the year ahead. This season and the years ahead, we must all do our part to support Ghanaian products, businesses and arts and promote Ghana as a brand locally and internationally. 
We again couldn't have brought our ideas together without the support of you, our stakeholders, and especially our valued corporate partners. To mention a few, Ecobank, Ghana, Stanchart, MTN Ghana, Republic Bank, Nivea, and all the ones on the on the, on the backdrop. We thank you all. For, for want of time, I can't mention everybody. We are most grateful for your support and your faith in our vision. We will continue this tradition and encourage more corporate organizations nationwide to join us, spread the spirit of hope, cheer and goodwill in all corners of our country and light up all the cities in Ghana in the years ahead. 2020 has been an eventful and unpredictable year and as such, we have even greater cause for to praise God in the country. As David Bedner actually put it, may the beautiful lights of every Christmas season remind us of him who in the who is the source of all lights. It has been a year that has proven to us the mercies of God. To that end, let us celebrate the gift of life, of peace, of unity, and of love. Afi o afi, afi shapa. God continue to bless our whole Lankana. Thank you. We're going to press the button to light up the city of Accra. Considering that this is 2020, this is the year 2020, we're going to start patiently from 20 and end at zero. One last time, are we all ready? 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. There we go. There we go. Our cry is lit up. The city is lit up. And what can we say? Isn't this beautiful? Thank you very much. Beautiful fireworks going up in the sky. And of course, this is one of the most beautiful ambulances you can find anywhere in the world. This surely is beautiful.